Hello everybody, Makeup Dulce here. Today the tutorial is with e.l.f. concealer and e.l.f. moisturizing foundation stick for somebody who had requested that uh, from me from my recent haul and I wanted to go ahead and also do a face that on daily routine you can wear, easy to wear, doesn't have a whole bunch of products especially related to eyes since eyes are the most hardest part of your face to work with because you have to be very precise with the liner and then mascara and so on and so forth. So hopefully you like this tutorial and please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and like so, my video. I went ahead and moisturized my face with Olay Moisturizer and then I also used my e.l.f. Daily Moisturizer Stick and I today for a change tried a different foundation. This is from Lorac. It is in CR5. It is more of a like a pan version, so thicker than the liquid ones. So and then I also applied my instant age wine erase dark circle from Maybelline as my highlighter. So the reason why I'm making this particular video is because I purchased two new things from e.l.f. Cosmetics, which is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick. This is the darkest color that they had. As you can see, this is in coffee. And then this is their e.l.f. Concealer and this one is called Tan. And this is the darkest one they have. Almost my skin tone, isn't it? Doesn't do any justice. Hopefully it'll work for me, otherwise I'm going to have to use it as a dark circle eraser since it is it it, it is kind of matching with my skin tone hopefully you'll erase that for me so today we're going to try to use these two particular products to contour my face since the highlighting part is already done I'm going to go ahead and see how I like this foundation stick huh what do you think guys? I think it's pretty pigmented. Let's blend this in. I don't wanna... I don't know if it's gonna dry on me or... Oh gosh, hmm. It's pretty orangey. That's not something I was looking forward to. Okay. And looks like it's a little harder to blend. I'm gonna use my foundation brush with no product on it, just from whatever I uh, put on my face to blend any harsh lines. Okay. What do you think? I think I like it better now since it's kind of blending. Looks like I might have to go back in with my concealer to kind of sharpen this because it just blended in. Well, not blended in, but matches my skin tone or something. I'm not sure. Hmm. Might have to use a couple more times before I can see. So, let's try the forehead. I actually like it with the brush more than the beauty blender. So. I'm going to try this product here since see how it'll do with the brush. If you guys are wondering why I am doing all the way this way and then here instead of not stopping here and this needs to be a little bit more thinner then there's a reason for it for people like me ding, ding, 
who have more of a round face to make it appear thinner you have to do it this way like to elongate just this is the face we're focusing on not the roundness of it I'm gonna blend this see how you Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm not sure. Not sure. So, no words yet. So, let's go ahead and sharpen my contour and see how I like that. Maybe this will change something for us. Not bad, huh? A little bit here. Bam! Lip job done. All right. Back to the concealer. This I got to contour the nose with. Let's see. It's not as dark, but who knows, it might work for just for the nose contour because of nose being the center of the face and you definitely don't want it to be so harsh. So who knows, it might or might not work. So let's see. Going to go ahead and go back with the same brush, product off. This. By the way, this is a BH Cosmetics brush that I'm using. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. I do like this concealer. It's not very dark, so it gives me that perfect contour that we all look for. And it's easy to apply. And... Looks like easy to blend. Okay, I'm going to go back in with this though. Now let's see. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good, huh? So I would definitely give this 9 out of 10. I'm still thinking of this one, so bear with me. Maybe in next video I may tell you how it lasted me throughout the day and stuff like that and we'll all go from there. So let me go and blend in my inner highlight. I'm not sure but sometimes I really like to talk Indian. So if any of you would mind that or not because I think it comes out really really funny. So, I'm going to spray it with water. Sometimes it is okay to go the cheaper route, especially when it works. So, oh, did I tell you that I used uh, Tarte Rich Brown for my brows? And this is more of a thicker version than the Anastasia. So those of you who are not, have gotten the concept of the brow gel uh, pomade formula, this would be the best stop to start with. This is where I started because you have more control over your brush with the product. It's not very runny like Anastasia Brow Pomade. Although as a matter of fact, I love that one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set our concealer. I'm going to use my banana powder from the You Know What. So, I'm going to go ahead and use that on my stippling brush, like this, and set my under concealer, under eye concealer, okay? If you guys have seen my previous videos, 
I almost in every video drop something and you're laughing my sister always says you cannot make a video without dropping something can you sorry people clumsy person here all right come on bananas there we go bam that looks harsh just notice that eh. there's one truck I get excited to see in my street can anybody guess which one is that UPS because that UPS is my ticket to my candy world All right, we're now going to go ahead and set our contour. I'm going to use this shade here. It is Havana. And I'm going to use that, my Sigma small contour brush for that. By the way, you guys are gonna have to wait on the music and all the jazz that comes along in YouTube videos and stuff. I'm still new at this and I'm trying to get the hang of it, okay? And after how many videos have I made? Four. I think I found this one being ah, real me, who I am. It was really hard to talk to a camera. Finally think, hi camera! I think I finally made a friend out of the camera, so... By the way, I'm waiting on doing my giveaway. But then again, I gotta have people to give it away to. I don't have none. But four of you, those ladies out there who subscribe to my channel already, bravo and thank you. I am so, so happy and excited. Trust me, because of you guys, I'm continuing making this video. All right, highlighter. Have we set our face? I don't think so, what? Okay, all right, let's go ahead and move on to my powder. Today the powder I'm using is from Rimmel. It is in transparent color like this, using my powder brush from Sigma. It is also the Duo Fiber F50 right here. It puts the less amount of powder on your face, so here we go. Blend any harsh lines, all these lightning that's going on here. I love my nose. What do you know? Good job, Elf. All right, so highlight. There we go. Man, I can't wait to get that Anastasia Hollywood lipstick. One lipstick I'm dying to get. Soon I'll get it. And thank you so much for the person who asked me from Instagram that do this video for you. And it especially going out to you, by the way. Since you were the only one else for it. But if there's another video or something that I can do for you guys, feel free to let me know. And I really don't mind talking in Indian, okay? I don't mind making you guys laugh. Don't want it to be all about just makeup, okay? All right, what blush should we use today? Boy, I was not ready today at all, was it? All right, so let's go ahead and use something peachy. Tarte Hollywood Collection. Holiday collection. Haha. <laughs> this is in classic from Tarte. I'm using on my Sigma Powder Blush brush F10. Pardon? 
start again. So I went ahead and used Anastasia Bold and Beautiful Kit Eyeshadow Palette for the first time I used this. This is what I used on my eyes and of course my reach for it. Voluminous Carbon Black L'Oreal Mascara. By the way, we call it Mascara in India. So just like to let you know. And I also used just a few shades from the Nudes in Maybelline palette. This dark chocolate and then this one for highlights right here. And I also used Ulta Bronzed Cream Eyeshadow for the base right here. And I also want to let you know, guys, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite lipstick comes from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And by the way, this is not in any way is paid for or, um, what's that word? You know what I mean by any brand, okay? All right, so this is my lip color that I am so obsessed with. This one right here, this is called T Rose, let me swatch it for you. It's a very mauve pink. I love it. Like I told you guys, I love mauve colors. So I usually don't use lip liner with this because it's kind of like a lip liner slash lipstick. I love that. Very handy. Did you see how fast and easy I applied this? Because I love it so much, I use it so much that I'm pro at it. So this is the lip color. Let me zoom you in so you can see. So, so this is the final look. I hope you like my tutorial. I try to make it as fun as possible since I do not have va va voom music in it. So unless you wanna hear some You know what I mean? So, I hope you like this tutorial. Please leave me any comments and suggestions down in the description box below. And I will link all the products I've used here in there as well. And do not forget to subscribe and like my channel and this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. I see you later, okay? Bye-bye.